What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the third episode in our series of building an automatic video editor using Python. Um, so in this video, we're going to be going through how you can add a green screen animation to your video. Uh, we're going to be using a YouTube animation in particular for this one, which is going to be like a like. Let me play it. We're going to be using this animation here that I have on YouTube. I mean, yeah, for, for YouTube. Oh. A like, subscribe, and notification bell animation. And... I'm also going to be working with adding a intro and outro to the video. So where should we start? So something we're going to need, and that's going to be very important for working with a green screen in our project, is we have to know what the RBG, R, RBG, I think that RBG, the RBG color of the green screen. Because in my experience, all green screens can be like a little different in their color and the best way to find out the hex color is so you can use I use Premiere Pro Pro but you can also take a screenshot and if you if you google how to check RGB color of an image you do image color picker so you go to imagecolorpicker.com use your image this one haha and this will give us the um, the RGB uh, color code for this. So we're gonna keep this for later. We're gonna need this, and if you have a animate of a particular green screen video that you want to use, then make sure you save that. All right, let's get into the coding. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add some some variables to this called add YouTube, add intro, add outro, and these are just some booleans that will let us know if we're gonna be adding. A YouTube video or an intro to our videos. So, hmm. so let's do if if you add an intro is true. I'm gonna just do this for now. Copy and paste this. So if add outro. All right, and oh, one thing I forgot to do is we need to add these to our folder, our direct our directory. And I actually need to add my intro. So let me see. I have to go grab them. All right, pasted them in here, and now they show up in our directory. All right. So to add an intro is very simple. Like we can um, create the intro using the video. Oh, we got it called MPY, sorry. MPY video file clip. The same way we created a video here. We're going to do it here. And this time we'll, we'll just create intro.move. There's a movie file. And we're going to do it this way. We're going to hard code it in because our intro, most more likely than that, it doesn't change, right? If it's just for for you. And what we need to do is... So final clip is going to equal mpy.concatenate video clips. And now we want to concatenate the intro with the final clip. And the outro is going to be something similar. So I'm going to just copy and paste it. And what we need is, so we do outro. Oh, we do outro. And what we do is instead of, first we append the, the final clip and then we append the outro. That's how you keep it, you know symmetrical or like yeah this will keep it like ordered right because this will uh, this will concatenate them in order right like if you have the outro first then the outro would be at the beginning and i don't think that's something you want <laughs> all right and what i did is i created a actually this is you it's better in my use case because if it is a youtube video i want to add this youtube green screen thing right so green screen or let's call this YouTube animation. It's gonna go mpy dot video video file clip, and I'm gonna just copy relative path, and it should yep. That way you don't have to type it out. Oh, and one thing I didn't know is the, the up I'll put the link to download this in the description if you guys want it. I probably added the text already in the video because I forgot to mention. It. <laughs> but yeah, there'll be a link for that in the description. All right. So to get rid of the, um, the the green screen part of the video, we need to use the FX function that MoviePy provides us, and it's a part of the it's a part it's a it's a function that can be applied on any video clip. So I'm gonna call this mass clip, and what you do is you so you have the YouTube animation dot FX, and we need to call VFX dot mass color. You need to put MPY dot vfx fx mask color and then we need to specify our color and if we open up our browser or if we go back to our browser the color we had here was you don't got to pay attention to the alpha it's just the first three 
the red, the green, and the blue. All right. And actually, I'm going to test it because I never use this site. So we'll see how this works right now. All right. So we added our color and then 100 and S equal to 5. We can go to this function and see what, what these are all about. We said THR to 100 and you said S equal to 5. So if you go to Stack Overflow, shout out to Stack Overflow, you see here that THR threshold only well beyond this threshold is masking effective. And then S is the stiffness, how strong this effect will be. So you can imagine the values you'd be, that you would feed into these arguments are highly dependent on with your inputs. We're going to set it to 100, just the maximum threshold. And we'll see what happens. And what we also want to do with the mask clip is we want to um, set a position. And the position I set was um, center, comma, bottom. This will put the clip right in the center bottom. And depending on what animation you're using and where the animation is on the green screen, then you might want to put it somewhere else. But the center bottom works perfectly fine for this one. All right. And now we need to add it to our, to our clip. So we're going to do final clip dot py dot compositional video clip and we do an array and then we do final clip and we do mask clip and we need to set you need to set a start time and this is basically when the animation will appear and for now let's do five seconds and what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this out by creating a clips array that only is going to get like Let's get 30, 30 seconds of our video and let's let's try to run this. Give me a second while I activate my virtual environment. Ah, oh, <laughs> oh I forgot about this. So let's do true. Oh, I have to use YouTube equal to true, true. Oh, my bad. I forgot to uppercase the true. All right, now we should be good to go. Oh, and it, oh I think it's gonna add this actually during the intro because our intro I think is longer than five seconds. So what's it, let's just see what happens. Oh, and I'm gonna come to, I, I, I stopped this because I wanna change the, the output of the video number. Like I, I, I don't want this to get overwritten, so I'll be back in a second. All right, so it looks like our video finished editing. I'm gonna play it. Oh, and so far it looks like the intro is here. I'm gonna mute this, wait, I just audio. I'm gonna mute this and let it play. And at the five second mark, we should see, oh, voila, the animation is there. Hey, that was nice, that was nice. I wanna see it again. Look at that animation. I like it, I like it, I like it. Hmm. I hope your animation, if you chose a different one, is coming out nice as well. All right, and one more thing before we wrap up is, so with this whole video editor, one thing you may run into is so it does work for like mobile videos, like a TikTok or like a short, right? But this YouTube part will kind of break. Like if it's true for a, what is it? A portrait video. And if you try to apply this to a portrait video, you're going to get like a big error because this YouTube green screen is a landscape and you're going to be trying to put them, put it on top of a portrait video and it's just not going to work. You're going to get yelled at. So to account for that, we can, we can do a, we can grab the width and the height. Actually, let's do this on top of the, the YouTube part. So width and height of the video dot size, we can do the video dot size will give us the width and height. And if the height is greater than the width, that means it's a portrait video. Cause just think about it, like a portrait video is taller and the landscape one is wider, so the height is bigger than the width if it's a vertical video. So if that's the case, we're gonna set is YouTube to false. Just to make our lives easier, oh, we got the uppercase. And we can actually, now that I look at it, we can do a, we can just do an and, and width is greater than height. And that should give us the same result because, let's see. So if a video, so if it's a vertical video, then the height is bigger. So the width would be less than the height and it'd be false. And then we wouldn't add this, right? Yep. This looks good. It saves, uh, adding another if statement for no reason. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to go through in this video. Um, I hope your green screen worked well. Let me, let me think. So one, one cheat code or something I'll add is one thing I like to do is here. 
before we add the video to the the clip before yeah before we add the animation to the clip i like to I need to actually import random i believe yeah import random and what i like to do is so i like to grab i equal to random dot random int between 45 and 90 and j equal random int Wait, actually no we can just do i right it's a random integer between 45 and 90 seconds all right we can even go higher we can do 6 to 120 and what i like to do is so we can actually add multiple and multiple anim of the same animation multiple yeah we can add the same animation multiple times there we go <laughs> and what i like to do is we can set it to i and we can set it to final clip duration minus i and that way it'll add this animation towards the beginning of your video and towards the end of your video and that's pretty dope it'll do that automatically you don't have to worry about it and those i'd say that's probably one of the best also maybe sometime some point in the middle of course you want to add it and that's something that you could do a little challenge a little homework for you add it somewhere in the middle figure out the best way that works for you and another thing to note is you want to make sure that your video is longer than i want to say at least five minutes to do this otherwise you only want like a one <laughs> right like if you have a one minute or two minute video then people are gonna be annoyed you're just gonna be and this actually might break if you have like a less than two minute video yeah because it's 120 so you'll probably like get a random error so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like comment share subscribe and tune check tune in for the next one where we're going to be taking all this stuff and putting it into an api so we can actually deploy this in the future and have it like on a live server on the internet where we can send it a video url or download it and edit it for us so tune in for the next video where we will be doing that and yeah have a good one peace i'm riding between it all in this perfect place Piece of the buzz when my fit where you need me, baby.